Concepts and categories. This is a summary of Psy246 Cognitive Psychology from Macquarie University and this was made by me. Concepts. Concepts are internal representations that are abstract and detached from inputs and outputs. Categories. These are the class of stimulus that are treated in equivalent manner and well, it helps us to generalize objects and experiences. Natural versus artificial categories. Natural categories are categories that occur in natural language. Rose suggested that these have correlation structures in which features of it are not combined arbitrarily. Feature dimensions are not independent. They are defined by fuzzy sets. They have hard to discriminate boundaries and they have internal structures which include typicality and family resemblance effects, which I'll talk later in the next slide. Artificial categories are features that are combined arbitrarily. Bruna et al. 1956 got participants to group similar shapes, colors, number of items, borders on cards to figure out experimenters' categorization. It was found that after initial guesswork and a few trials, subjects uh, uh, found out what the categorization pattern was. Fuzzy sets. These are natural categories with ill-defined boundaries. McCloskey and Glucksberg, 1978, asked subjects to decide categories of exemplar category pairs uh, twice. Uh, and this occurred one month apart. When I am talking about exemplars, I mean it is the way that individuals create categories, create judgment categories by comparing new stimuli with instances of already that are already stored in memory. This is uh, similar to the idea of the prototype, which I'll cover in the next few uh, minutes. And some exemplars between and within subject consistency was low. This suggested that artificial categories have no fuzzy boundaries. Um, they're not arbitrarily categorized. Structures in categories. Only natural categories have internal structures. Like family resemblance and typicality gradients. Family resemblance are where better exemplars share more attributes in common with other exemplars. Wittgenstein in 1953 tried to define games and despite having no attributes that are shared by all members of the category, each different type of game had at least one element in common with each other. So for example, board games, ball games, um, they all allow for a degree of interaction, but that degree of interaction could be physical in the case of board games or um, intellectual in the case of board games, for example. Typicality gradients. Some members of categories are more typical and others are rarer. Roche and Mervis in the 1970s got subjects to rate how typical an exemplar was in a category. In artificial categories, all were well defined and thus equally typical. In 1978, subjects listed attributes that were possessed by an exemplar of categories and they derived the family resemblance score or the sum of weighted scores of attributes, which are features shared by others given greater weighting. High correlation between typicality and resemblance scores indicate that typical exemplars share more common attributes within the category. Hierarchy of concepts. A prototype is a member of a category that has the highest family resemblance score. So for example, when I say fruit, you instantly think apple. Basic level categories. These are levels at which there are many attributes common to members and few attributes in common with members of others. It is a between superordinate and subordinate category. These are informative since they are expressed economically, but experts tend to prefer using the subordinate level. Um, that's what makes them experts because they're able to know the difference between, for example, a different breed of dog. Hierarchy of concepts was proposed by Roche et al. in 1976. Familiarity. Anarchy and Benton in 2009 stated that labeling something at the subordinate level is not necessarily faster and that this depends on familiarity at the individual level. Subordinate shift, as it is known, is when something becomes more familiar. The subordinate level becomes faster which is greater than the basic and superordinate levels. So instead of speaking in generalities, experts become familiar with the specifics. 
In summary, we covered concepts, categories, natural categories, artificial categories, fuzzy sets, internal structures, family resemblance, Wittgenstein's 1953 game, typicality gradients, family resemblance scores, prototypes, basic level categories, hierarchy of concepts, and subordinate shift. Join me in the next video whereby I talk about uh, reading and word recognition. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.